are again. Hello. Well, Gumshoes, I don't know if you found this riveting tale of a missing suitcase to be as enticing and incredibly strange as I have, but we're about to find out exactly what it is that has happened to this missing suitcase. I hope you've enjoyed that amazing, this amazing story put on by our very talented theming team. If you did enjoy it, please absolutely reach out and let us know on Twitter and everywhere else how much you enjoyed this fun little uh, caper that was brought to you by both our art team and our theming team together working together on both the comic in our con book and if you haven't seen our con book go check it out it's on our website it's got a full comic that's the prelude to the videos that you would have seen and if you haven't caught any of the videos leading up till now you're missing out go check out our YouTube channel and you'll see it right on there just look up Van Hoover in YouTube and you'll you'll find it right away uh, just look for our icon our logo there's another there's an EDM artist also named Van Hoover for some reason just ignore that one anyways um, with that said I think it's about time we bring the final act to the amazing caper of the missing suitcase and Sunny Showers PI. Let's roll that clip, guys. I've solved the case and my biggest one to boot. I'll admit, this one had me worried near the end, but everything has turned out all right. We head back to my office, a Prissity beaming at the return of our suitcase. When we reach my door, the police officer from yesterday is waiting outside. She seems relieved to see us. Oh, hello officer. Oh good, you found the luggage. We were just about to go in and finish off the case. Care to join us? Might as well. I'm glad we managed to find it. So, out of curiosity, what's in the case? Trail? That's none of our business. No, no, it's fine. I was going to open it to check on the contents anyway. Now to just open the luggage lock on it. I shouldn't have let Poutine set the code. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. She said it's a reference I wouldn't get. I've got the same combination on my luggage. Everyone watches Apricity as she opens the suitcase. Her face goes from happy, to confused, to horrified? She starts to frantically dig around in her suitcase. No, 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 they're gone. What's gone? The elements of Canada. All that's left is a note and a business card. It says, good work getting this far. I've taken the elements. Let's see if you can get back on track, and it's signed with a B. Why did you have a set of powerful magical artifacts and checked luggage? Be because security takes exception when I try and take them as carry-on. Why didn't you have like a thousand royal guards searching for them then? Well, uh, well if I'd done that, everyone would have panicked. Wait, should we be panicking? I feel like we should be panicking. Trail. Calm down. We have a clue. It just means the case is not closed yet. Will Sunny Showers discover the identity of the mysterious note writer? Will Trail have a full-blown panic attack? Will Princess Apricity be able to claim the missing elements to the insurance company? And will anyone realize how many parts Princess Poutine played? Find out next time on Sunny Showers, P.I. Same pony time, same pony channel.
Do you think you know who's behind all this foo Check out our Twitter for a form where you can tell us your chief suspect. If you are right, you may earn a reward. I think we're back. Unfortunately, the delay with the, the stream makes it difficult um, to know. So apologies if I was standing here looking confused for a little while. That was an amazing video. I hope you all enjoyed the, the hard work that the theming team and the art team all put into making what you just saw happen. Um, it's an amazing caper that is only to be continued. So that's one that's, uh, that I'm happy to say we're going to give you much more information soon. So keep your eyes peeled on our Twitter and, on your, and our social media as well as our website for more details about the coming caper that Sunny Showers PI will have to still uh, deal with next year. So with that said, I, I hope that everyone enjoyed that. Please absolutely reach out to our amazing team that was all part of making that happen. And speaking of amazing team, this is the time where I make sure that you understand who brought this entire weekend to you. Because it sure as heck wasn't me. I'm just the chair, I'm the guy that stands in front of the camera and looks all fanciful with his giant coat and so forth. I didn't do this work. I'm going to tell you who did though. And it's really important that you understand that every, every single person that you're about to hear is a volunteer. They did this on their own accord with their own time and their own resources and even their own money in many cases. In fact, most uh, majority of our strongest sponsors are actually staff members um, so financially. So it gives you an idea of where and how this event is happening. So please reach out to the nearest staff member and let them know what you think of that. So I'll just start off with the chairman is myself, Affinity. My co uh, uh, vice chair, Combo Breaker, he's, uh, he's out in, in Portland making things happen. Uh, Vancouver, I should say, the other Vancouver. Registration it was Vanilla Skunk and Skeptical as well as a number of others. Uh, Discord administration, DD as well as Clouds, Skeptical, and Twifu. Uh, audiovisual, Beacon, Jim Fox, Null Fox. Streaming was Vanilla Skunk and Catherine Berry. Logistics, Jim Fox. Website, Linux Pony. Royal Guard, Dull Finks. Shadow Stroke and Sugar. And an anonymous who did not want to be named. Uh, guest relations was Matt Stafford and Alex Boone. They're the ones handling the, all the Zoom calls for you, amazing people that got to meet our guests this weekend. We have Bolt the Super Pony running our musicians and social media programming and merchandise was Clouds. My goodness, was he busy. Uh, vendors and Con Store was Twifu, also very busy. Publications and stream layout was Firestorm. Uh, CCG Events was Grand Paws, Big Cheese. Um, Aracat uh, and Ivory Starlight, big thank you to them for many years of running that for us. Theming co-lead, comic writer, and video editing was Fisher Pone. Uh, theming co-head uh, and script writer and audio editing was Springs. Sunny Showers was played by Kai K Pi. Trailblazer played by Springs. Apricity played by The Bunny Workshop. Poutine played by Corellia. Narrator was Alex Atley. The story and character design was Lost Legacy. Special big thank you to uh, Pony Fest Online, Ponyville FM, and Ponytown, as well as the Executive Airport Hotel, which is being hosted on the unceded territory of the, uh, the Coast Salish people. And we appreciate and recognize that fact. Thank you very much to everyone as well for being here and supporting us and supporting the event. So those are very important people. And I know I've missed a few of you. I apologize if I did. Please know you're in my heart, and I mean to mention everyone. That's the best list I could come up with. If I forgot you, please know I love you, and you're amazing. With that said, there are uh, a lot of things to tell you. So a lot of people were asking, you know, how did we do this weekend? Well, I am happy to say that we had 61 paid registrations this, one, this weekend, and it's only growing because we're keeping our registration system open until Monday. In fact, if you go to the link that uh, is now being displayed on the screen, um, and we're going to get to that other one in a second. Um, you can go to vanhoover.ca slash registration and you can actually register right up until Monday night. We're actually going to leave it open because we're not a physical con. We can mail it out anytime you want. So if you really enjoyed what you saw this weekend, if you enjoyed stuff tomorrow on Sunday, like buying things from our vendor hall, which is staying open, by the way, um, or just gaming and having a good time with your other uh, brony friends, please absolutely do what you can to support us. There's lots of cool things that you get as, as swag. Check out vanhoover.ca slash registration. 
That is how we support ourselves and how we will come back even stronger next year, hopefully, Celestia willing, to an in-person event. Um, that said, we also had a charity that we were doing our best to raise some money for, and we did raise some money from six uh, separate donations, which is great. So that was $170 going to the BC Mental Health and Substance Use Services, which I think we can all agree is a really important subject this year. So if there's any ability for you to make an additional donation, you can do so at our con store. A lot of people weren't aware that that was actually there, and I uh, that was on us. We didn't uh, properly... I don't think we did a very good job of advertising that. I'm telling you now, if you can and you have the ability to do so, we would greatly appreciate a donation that will be made straight to the BC Mental Health and Substance Use Services for the Vancouver area as well as British Columbia. That is our local uh, charity and we would love your support. Again, you go there, you can either donate directly at the website you see, which is bcmhsus.ca, or if you donate through our con store, every dollar we raise there will go straight to them with no no caps or anything like that. So if uh, you'll, you've got some $5, $20, $100 donation options in there. Um, and with that said, if you do still want to pick up some merchandise, it's still available. You can still pick up some merchandise. So if you want to, you can go to our con store, which is the link below. Uh, it is right there, vanhoover.ca slash shop. If you go in there, you can still pick up autographs. Yes, you can still get an autograph from your favorite guest. We had three amazing uh, VIP guest this uh, this this weekend. Uh, that was Andrea Libman, Tabitha St. Germain, and Cole. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting his name now. And I just talked to him this morning. Uh, Cole, uh, wow. Cole Howard, thank you. My goodness, I was going to say Hatley for some reason. I had the, the weird name in my head and I didn't write it down. I'm sorry, Cole. You, it's not like you weren't memorable to me. Um, in any case, those guys are great people and we have some themed artwork for their autographs, which means if you buy one from all three, you can actually get three kind of like matching ones to kind of commemorate the year. I know I did that and I wanted to put them in like a nice frame together, which will look cool. So you can still get that. We're going to have those on sale at least until tomorrow. So, uh, but only while supplies last because we will run out eventually. So please make sure you get that in soon. Uh, with that said, we'll go back to our, our registrations and some of the more important people that I absolutely need to mention to you. Because uh, once again, this stuff isn't free, guys. We do our best, but unfortunately, there are hard, hard costs that we need to cover. And the only way we do that is with your hard-earned bits. And the people that do that the most are what we call our Alicorn sponsors. And our Alicorn sponsors give a significant donation to the convention and the event. And we really, really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. And specifically, I'm going to call, call them uh, by name. That is Linux Pony. Thank you. Skepticult. Thank you. Prodigy, thank you. Cypher, who just donated today or purchased registration today, thank you. And an anonymous Alicorn who wished not to be named. So thank you very, very much for all of your support, guys. And also a huge thank you to our 10 patrons who also chose to buy a, a larger than normal donation. I'm looking at two of them in the back of the room here. So thank you, guys. Really appreciate your support. And uh, that is how we keep going. That's how we bring in these amazing guests that we have and how we have this amazing hotel, the, the lighting that, to be honest with you, is very largely donated, but it lets us at least cover the cost for the people that are allowing us to use the equipment and so forth. And that really means a lot to all of us because this is really a volunteer gig. There's nobody funding this but you guys, and we appreciate what you can do for us. Um, that said, I... I'm running out of things to talk about, and that is rare for me, but I know one guy who has lots to talk about because we're not done. We are done as far as our events go. Our events are done with one exception. We hope you had one heck of a time this weekend watching us on this stream and fighting with the fact that we're not in front of you because my goodness guys it is way easier to just have you here with us and we want to have you here next year we hope that despite the fact we didn't have that option this year that you did enjoy yourself and you did find some some value and some fun out of joining us um, and taking a sip with all of us together yeah, I said it. Anyways, um, with that said, we have one final event, and that is our final dance of the weekend. And I'm going to pass it off to our musicians lead, Bolt the Super Pony, to introduce the amazing musicians. But first, from myself and the rest of the team here at the Executive Hotel in Richmond, and the rest of the Vancouver staff not involved with the musician side of things, thank you and good night. <laughs> 